It is some relief for restaurants. The state loosening restrictions, and those restrictions are now in effect. But the new rules do carry some complications. Restaurants can now handle bigger parties and serve people at the bar. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Malden tonight. And Christina, some of these changes do carry an extra expense. Well, Lisa, today I spoke with one manager who said his restaurant won't even bother opening the bar because those acrylic shields they have to put up are just too expensive and too hard to come by. But here at the Doo Wop Diner, the owner says it's a lifeline. The acrylic shields going up at Malden's Doo Wop Diner. The state's new approval for bar seating also applies to countertops like this one, where customers have been waiting to hop on a stool for months. They keep asking every day they come in here, when are we going to sit at the counter? The group of people that come in here, the regulars, um, I've known them for a number of years, and it's just somewhat like family. They can only open every fourth seat, but the owner says even that is a godsend. It made the difference enough to say to myself, I'm going to make it. The state does require shields at counters and bars, and this can be hard to come by these days. You know, the price has gone up probably about 15 to 20 percent across the board. Luckily, Paul Wenzel, who owns P&K Custom Acrylics, says he's been stocking up. Some of my suppliers are still telling me that lead times are two to three months out for specific materials. That's why some restaurants are holding off on bar seats for now, but are happy the state has eased restrictions on the number of people per table from six to ten. We do have a lot of customers that that do come in large parties. At in a pickle restaurant in Waltham, well, less of a pickle. Well, anything that's getting closer to um, what we used to be is is uh, where we want to go. Well, there are some cities that are not going ahead with these new loosened restrictions just yet, including Boston, Worcester, and Framingham, where the virus rates are higher. In Malden, Christina Hager, WBC News.